Hey guys, uh, this is Talk Custom. Uh, we are going to jump into video number two of the How to Be a Twitch Creative Broadcaster tutorial series uh, that we're doing. So in this video, we're going to cover how to use OBS. Um, so you can use XSplit or Game Show to broadcast as a platform. Um, OBS is free and it works just fine. So I'm going to show you how to use OBS for this tutorial. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go to obsproject.com and you are going to want to download uh, the platform for your operating system. Uh, so it'd be Windows 7 Plus, which goes up to Windows 10. Save it and run it, and you will end up with this. Uh, this is the blank scene for um, OBS. So in the last video, what we did was we made a tutorial for an overlay. Uh, so we're gonna take our overlay that we made in the last video and put it into OBS first. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So if you watch that, um, you should be good to go. Otherwise, you can watch the previous video to get caught up. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do is, well, actually, uh, under scenes here, on the left, these are gonna be all our scenes, and I'll explain that later, but sources is what we're looking at right now. So we have one scene, I'm gonna rename this to uh, workshop. So this is my workshop scene. Now under sources, this is where all of your assets um, for broadcasting go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click plus, and then we're gonna add a image. And this one I'm gonna call overlay one, because sometimes I have more than one overlay. Uh, and I'm gonna load in my overlay from the last video. And because we made it uh, 1920 by 1080, it will fit this area perfectly. Um, so that looks great. Uh, our overlay is loaded in. Now these black areas are transparent, so anything we put behind that will be cropped out perfectly by these big boxes here, which is exactly what we want. So now we want to start adding cameras. Um, and to do that, we're going to click the plus here and go to video capture device. And I'm going to put uh, workshop camera. Uh, and now, you're, if you click on the device, you're going to see the list of all the cameras plugged into your computer. Now, we're going to use the Logitech C922 for that. And then you're going to want to go to Resolution and do Custom, and then pick the proper resolution. So this one looks best at 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to scale this down a little bit. And uh, my camera is mounted upside down, so I'll show you how to fix that if you need to do that. Uh, and I'm going to want to scale this so it's just covering all the black areas of my overlay. And if you click this and you click the down arrow right here, um, it's going to move it down a layer. So a lot like paint.net when we worked with layers, this works the same way. So all your sources. Um, so you want your overlay on top for now and you're going to want to put all your cameras below your overlay. And that's going to crop this out so it's that perfect ratio that we were doing in the tutorial video. Uh, if your camera is upside down, you just right click on the camera, go to transform and do rotate 180 degrees, and it will put it the correct way. Okay, so we have our main workshop camera done. Uh, I'm going to add one more camera just to show you how to do this. If you have more than two cameras, you can put as many as you need. Uh, but I'm going to go to video capture device again, put table cam, and then I'm going to select my table camera, which is the C270, uh, go to custom resolution, and pick the one that I want, oops, it should be that, hit OK, and now I'm going to do the same thing where I want to cover just that black area there. And then I'm going to drop it down to the bottom layer uh, so it crops out properly. And that looks fine. Uh, so you can kind of adjust the size if you need to. Uh, something else you may need to know if you have different resolution cameras is if you hold Alt and you click on one of these circles here and you drag, it's going to crop that asset without scaling it. So if you need to crop it out so that it fits properly, you can do that so it doesn't bleed into different areas. Uh, so holding Alt will crop areas. Um, now this camera is upside down, so I'm going to go to the table cam, uh, transform, rotate 180, and that looks fine like that. So now I've got two live cameras, um, and if you have a third camera, you can put it here. I 
I can't handle four cameras, but that's fine. Um, so I've got all the cameras I need for right now. Um, and then I left a square here uh, for a little video slideshow um, or just a little slideshow of pictures of previous projects and stuff like that. So let's do one of those. So to set up our image slideshow, uh, you're gonna add a new asset here and you're gonna go to image slideshow. Um, so I will just call this uh, slideshow. Um, so when you get to this, you're gonna see some options. Um, I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. Um, and here where it says image files, you wanna add, uh, I'm gonna do a directory. So I, I need to explain how this works a little bit. So I'm gonna go to a folder that I had figured out for this. Um, what is that under? Uh, here we go. So this is the folder that I have all my images in. It says test. Um, so I'm gonna select this folder and hit okay. Now, um, the slideshow is gonna start playing. So as you can see, all these images are a perfect square. Now this is really important um, when you have a slideshow. So if you've got a bunch of different pictures of a, a bunch of different resolution and orientation, like if some are tall and some are wide and some are different sizes, it's gonna make a huge box and it's gonna look kind of weird. So what I did was I pre-cropped a bunch of images to a perfect square so that I knew the slideshow would always fill that full square. Uh, you can do a widescreen, you can do it tall, you can do it however you want, but I cropped all of these to a perfect square so that they would all look perfect, okay? So that's really important. Once I did that, I put them all into a folder and then I selected that directory on there. So when I go to this image files thing and I go to my directory, I'm gonna pick that folder that all my perfect square images are in, okay? So now I'm gonna put this up here, right over that square. And if you don't know how to crop, you can usually do it in Windows 10 photo gallery thing or you can go to paint.net and you can make square images there. Um, so now I'm gonna put my slideshow on the bottom again so that this is perfectly cropped here as well. And try to fit it just like that. So now I've got um, two cameras. I could put a third here if I wanted to and I've got a little slideshow that's playing of a bunch of previous projects um, that I'd made, which looks great. Um, so that's it for all of my uh, cameras and graphics for right now. Um, the next important thing that we have to talk about is uh, microphone. So, um, let's see, if you go to, if, if you have a nice microphone like this one I'm using here, um, you can plug it in, that's fine. If you don't have a nice microphone or you just want to use one of your webcam's microphones, you can do that as well. Um, so if you click on settings here on the bottom right, uh, this whole thing is going to pull up here. Uh, now I just want to look at audio. And you've got desktop audio, which is important. So uh, this I just set to default. Now, like if you listen to music and you want people to hear the music on stream, uh, you want to set desktop audio device to default, and then any sounds that play in your computer will play live to your stream. And I'll show how that works. And then you're going to look for the one that says uh, mic auxiliary audio device. This says disabled. So I want to pick one of these devices as my um, workshop microphone. So this one here is the one I'm using for recording this video, but I want to use this webcam as my microphone for my stream. So this is the webcam that's right above my table, and it happens to have a brilliant microphone. I highly recommend the microphone from a Logitech C270. The newer cameras don't work as well uh, as a microphone as this one does. So I'm gonna select that and then hit OK. So now, if you look at the bottom here, this is, uh, this is our audio mixer. Um, so if I snap my fingers, well, you can hear it on that too, but you can watch this spike up as I'm talking because it can hear my voice. So that's this camera right here is my microphone. So when I stand over there, that's the microphone that's picking up my voice. Um, you can adjust uh, the audio levels of each one of these. Uh, the desktop audio here, if I click on the little speaker thing, 
it's going to make a sound and I can see it play right here where it says desktop audio. Uh, you can turn it up and down if your music is too loud, too quiet. Um, so I've only got two uh, audio sources going in. There's my computer audio and my microphone audio. Those are the only two I use on my stream. Um, you can do other ones, but that's good enough for right now. But something you need to keep in mind is that sometimes you need to sync your microphone with your video. Um, this can be kind of irritating, um, but to do it, uh, you click this thing that says mixer right here. Um, now my microphone is the one that says mic auxiliary right here. Okay. So if you record a video or you stream and people tell you, hey, your mouth isn't matching up with, you know, the video or the audio and the video aren't really matching up, all you have to do is look at the sync offset thing here and go up or down. Um, you can go into positive or negative numbers here. I think on mine, I have it to plus 40 is a perfect audio sync. And you'll have to do some testing to make sure it works. Uh, I'll leave it at zero for now because I'm not going to record anything with this. But please keep that in mind that you need to sync your audio with your video. It's, it's one of those things that makes your stream look really polished. Um, also, it's important because if your microphone can hear the music you're playing and the music is playing on your computer, they need to sync up perfectly so you don't hear an echo with your music. That's very important. So it takes a little bit of testing. If you have any questions, please let me know. So now I've got my overlay set up. I've got all my cameras set up. I've got a slideshow playing and I've got microphones picking it up. Um, that's gonna be the end of this video right here. Um, my next video is gonna be how to set up alerts and some on-screen graphics and some fun things. Uh, we're also gonna have our donators ticker bar here. Uh, and we're going to use Streamlabs um, to do our on-screen alerts and graphics and stuff like that. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, I know this is a very simple tutorial, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.